South Florida. We lose a lot of dogs, unfortunately, that way. Yeah. Or in Cobos' case, he's trained to take down humans. But they're still animals that they look evil. They look like medieval devices. No shit. Yeah. Cobos. Zook. Let me see your hands. Make yourself low. Let me see my dog and you're going to get bit. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the goddamn ground. In the first two videos we did with Kobos, you guys had a lot of questions. Why does he have three collars? What are his three collars? And so today, well right now, we're gonna talk about some of his equipment options. What type of collars we're gonna be using and why we're gonna be using them for this particular dog. And remember that the collars that we use in Kobos, not necessarily the same collars you're gonna use on your mini pincher at home. Well, I'll get started. Typically what you're gonna see on a police dog, you're gonna see them wearing a, a flat collar or a Martingale style flat collar. Kobos is wearing one now. That's just like the collar you have on your dog at home. You can hook a leash to it. And what's nice about those, they're nice and thick. They don't restrict as a human to be able to control all that horsepower. Well, now we have a dog. It might not be as big as a horse, but it has crazy drives. And so we use tools like prong collars that they look evil. They look like medieval devices. And we can kind of simulate it that it's nice and tight. This is how it would fit on the dog. It doesn't do anything. I'm, yeah, I'm good. It's just a necklace. Putting a prong on a dog with all that fur and all that neck muscle, you're really not going to affect them in the sense of where it's going to be inhumane. Now, if you use it the wrong way, you leave it on them, you leave them tied up, and you don't take it off, then obviously it can be become something inhumane, but that can go for a choke chain, a regular collar, any other type of collar. Yeah. Or in Kobos' case, he's trained to take down humans. Him not complying with my commands can seriously injure or kill somebody. <laughs> Good. So it activates your muscle group, doesn't hurt. <laughs> Did it do that? Yeah. And if it doesn't do it enough, just slide to different spots. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> That's a foot oh. massage. <laughs> you know, your taser has a safety. Most guns have a safety. This is also considered your safety. I think I'm going to go with this one. There you go. So every time you put it on, the next thing you want to do is oh grab it here. See, it's too loose. Too loose? Yeah. We're going to grab on the left and the right and kind of go forward and back. Just to make sure it's just, just to get through that fur. Today, 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 what I like right. to do with him is, like always, we always start with a little round of obedience. That's just to maintain the control work. And then uh, we're going to get into some more apprehension stuff today. Um, I saw in a video, uh, just stick your finger in the dog's ass. <laughs> that might work for, for one of your guys, but not for him. That's, not, that's what we do to Harvey. Tell him to off. Off. What's his motor at right now? 100 being he's at his max, like he's full tilt. Oh, he's probably like 10%. It's not about how fast he's going physically. It's how fast the mind's going. So when he's chill, we probably need the 15, 16. This tool is a little different. This goes from uh, one to 18. Well, I can so oh, that. that was a nice one there. Off, life, go oh, here. Yeah. But what I have, I have it set to, to, like to uh, rising stem. So I'm just doing this. But as soon as I do that, it's gonna go seven, eight, go nine, ten. Zook. So we'll get it pretty quick. Right now he's in, in bathroom mode because this is where we break the dogs. Oh, okay. So he's smelling a lot of different. There's a little poop over there. Take a piss first. Here. Hey, hey, here. Where, in what area did you kind of? Right by the tree. Right by the tree. Hey. And now, you see how now he's in mode? I'm just acting like I got something in my hand. Sook. This is our bathroom tree, so. Hey, hey, sook. Upward, upward. Los. Sit. He's going to break him. Look, there we go. Thank you, Bubba. This is what we'll do. Let's give him a break. We're going to put the tool on me. Uh, you told me to recall, and I and then you wait 10 seconds later and stim me. You miss the window. Dogs live in the moment. We're talking three to five seconds at best. Uh, 10 seconds later, he forgot you even called him. Make sense? Got it. So we're gonna go ahead and put the e-collar on me. Okay. And I'm gonna be like a, a good dog, and then I'm gonna be a bad dog. And if I don't listen, I'm gonna make sure those timings are right. Okay. That's all. Got it. Easy peasy. Oh man, I don't know if we can get around these 22s. Yeah. <laughs> 22 sense. long guns. Perfect. Now there's roughly three ways to apply stimulation. One would be a flick. The other one would be a hold. Mm -hmm. 
holds are more intense than flicks, right? Um, because what this thing is doing is it's going stim, 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 stim. So it's kind of like one flick doesn't hurt you. But if I keep flicking the same spot, it gets more sensitive. That's what holding will do. Tick, 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 tick. So a 20 flick and a 20 hold, the 20 hold has a little more bite. Okay. The third thing you can do is what's called feathering. Feathering is in between the two, and that's flick, flick, flick. When would you apply that? Fairly, very rarely, but let's say he was over there and you told him to recall and he was taking a sweet time. Flick, flick, flick. You better hurry up and get to me because I'm gonna keep the pressure on till you get here. Make sense? Hey. But let's try. Right now, I'm a good puppy. Give me a couple commands. Take over, take over here. Come on, boy, take over here. Good boy. Put your head back on. All right. But now I'm like, sit. Oh, okay. Now, you repeated the command. Don't need to repeat it. Okay. Say it or else. Okay. Sit. All right. There you go. Give me a little bit more. I'm a human and it's still taking me a second to listen to the command and make a process of like, okay, you want me to sit? Where am I sitting? How am I sitting? So tell me to stand up. Give me a window to do it. Okay, stand. That's fair. That's about the tightest you could be. Okay. Give me some more commands. What happens if I'm healing, but I'm like, yo, what's this dog piss over here? Pressure? Yeah. Pressure? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. What's this on the ground? Pressure? Yeah. Perfect. So if I'm talking to Anthony, now give me a command. Anthony, what's going on? Where'd you get that shirt, man? I like that shirt. Now give me a command. Take your head off. Okay. Now notice, I'm not paying. So what we do in those situations is you get the stem. What, what, what'd you want? And then tell you. Then give me the off. command. Yeah. Stand up. Oh, I guess he means it. Right, and you rolled up. Mm -hmm. I felt the roll up. Roll back down. Stand. It's not enough. Stand up. You could hold it. Oh, okay, okay, nice. You did a press, hold, and roll. Very nice. This unit will do that for you. Okay. Press, hold, and it goes. Dut, 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 dut. For whatever reason, today I'm a little extra motivated. I've had extra Cuban coffee. Twenty is not going to get it for me. I would say go to forty. You've okay. stimmed me enough. You've got my attention. Okay. Now we'll do one more test on you because we don't like anyone to use this on their dog that hasn't used it on themselves. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we'll put it on you. You take my shirt. I like yeah. it up here. Yeah. yeah. High five. For the folks at home. Oh, if you want to do that, that's fine. We press up, roll, and we got high five. So you're taking the same levels that your dog is taking. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And now we keep Patty from running out onto the busy road and getting hit by a car. We might do some scenarios where he's biting the sleeve, everything's wonderful, and I'm screaming like I'm getting killed. Yeah. But if you hear a real bite, that means he got something real, let's get him off. Got it. When you go to take him off, you better have your plan mapped out. He's coming off and he's going where? Who's standing next to me? Because we got what we call a hot dog at that point. He came off that bite, but he might be ready to bite anybody next to you. So we're in no rush to take him off. It's like, all right, hey, everybody, guess what? The dog's coming off. Give me some space. Then give the out. That's a way to do it, especially in tight quarters. Okay. Yeah. Once he's on the bite, like you said, when we're gonna take him out and you gotta look around who's behind you, what I don't want you to do, hey, here, come here, don't be silly. What I don't want you to do is you out him and then you have slack. So what happens is, for example, if you're training and you have this slack, he can go back and hurt that guy, that, that guy that you just caught or you're training uh, your decoy. So you always wanna get your, grab a little bit short leash. What I like about this leash right here, it's got this little handle here. So if you want, you grab it here. Now I have control once I take him off, even though we can be this close, he doesn't have this loose leash where even though he outs and he decides to take a cheap shot, you know, with this, you have more control. So nice and short, or you can grab him right here by the harness. Okay, so now don't make sure you just don't out and then you let him, he has all that slack leash, okay? okay. I tell all my handles, when I train him, be calm, all right? You get in there, he's on. At that point, you want to reassure the dog that that screaming or that certain is not towards him. Copy. It's towards the subject. Yeah. How do you do that? Remember, he doesn't understand. Right. All he's, all he's listening is your tone of voice and your adrenaline. I come, just like you said, I come in and I pet my dog, tell him, how a boy, good boy. Now he understands, oh shit, my partner's here, there's two against one, not the other way around where if he feels that he's fighting two people, you and him, you are at a disadvantage. I actually grab it one way and I grab the other. So as I'm pulling and turking, I actually put a little pressure, pressure to give me a little quicker release. One of the reasons this dog was selected for the special forces- Because he can be quiet. Because he can be quiet. Once you go like this, you tell him, you ready? Yeah. Or whatever it is you want to tell him. And, and you see him, he's ready. He doesn't need to be- that okay. nonsense is more counterproductive than productive. Okay. I like to keep them more quiet and focused than being a spaz. Four-legged. Sorry, oh shit. Four-legged. 
Bail enforcement, anybody inside? Make yourself known now, send my dog in. Good boy, man. Wait, wait, good boy, good boy. Let me see your hands, make yourself known. I'm gonna send my dog in, you're gonna get bit. Why don't you come in so you can see my hands? Good boy, good boy. Let me see your hands. Fuck you. See your hands, I'm gonna reach my dog. You're gonna get... You and that dog are a bitch. You're gonna get bit, get on the ground. I'm not scared of no dog, he's not gonna do nothing. Hey, 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 don't send the dog! Get on the ground! Get on the Fuck you! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! All the way down! Get on the ground! Oh! 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 oh. Give up! Put your head behind your back! Oh, it's fucking on my arm! Put your head behind your back! Oh. <laughs> Straddle him, pet him, let him enjoy that bite. We're in no rush. Okay. I'm still handcuffing him. Okay. All right, now, when you're one. ready, lift up. Now you're gonna back away. Where are you going with that dog? Okay. After he comes off. Los! Go, Los! Los! Take your time. You hear how he's still breathing? Go, Los! Los! Watch the rebite. You see his foot? Go. Where are you going? Back away. We're just gonna. Hot dog! Hot dog coming out! Fall again! Fall again! Fall again! Hot dog coming out! Fall again! Good boy! Good boy! You see how strong he is, yeah? Oh, yeah. That's what I was just saying. For, for this one, you know, have both hands available. That was good. Very good. Okay, so after the out, like when you were ready to like pull him off, uh -huh. right now he just he just beat that guy. Okay, let him enjoy that win. Going back to that car, good boy, out of boy, you got that man. Put him in the car. Okay, you're telling him out, but what I don't want you to do is pull pull him away. Now you're pull, you're telling him lost, but you're pulling him back. So what is he doing? You're stretching you're, you're stretching his jaw out, and he's holding on as hard as he can. Okay. Straddle that dog like he said. Yeah. Get under that collar. Up, but you saw that was good. Yeah, His nice. dogs under, understanding bail enforcement. That that same announcement is the same announcement you're gonna use every time you go into some place. Okay. One of the ways we do that is to grab that collar and grab the flank. Mm -hmm. Don't hurt him, but s steer him. Laps, laps. Bail enforcement, make yourself known now. My dog's gonna bite you. Bail enforcement, let me see your hand. I'm not showing you my hands. <laughs> let me see your hands. I'm not showing you my hands. Let me see your fucking hand, my dog's gonna beat the shit out of you! Hand! 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 Stop! Stop! Good boy! Good boy! Get the dog! Get on the ground! Get on the goddamn ground! Get the dog off me! Get on the fucking ground! Get on the fucking ground! Don't touch my dog! Don't touch my dog! Don't touch my dog! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Don't touch my dog! Hot dog coming off! Start lifting. Perfect. Beautiful job. Say nothing. Just keep... <laughs> nice and still, Patrick. Nice and still. Listen to that breathing. It's coming. It's coming. There it is. It's coming. Don't don't release. Keep going. Now back. Back. Good. Ah. Hot dog coming out. He's a hero. Hot dog coming out. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Anybody inside? Make yourself known now. Bell enforcement. I will send in my dog, and he will bite you. It's your last chance! Keep him on lead. Tell him super. Okay. Let him explore. He doesn't know where the guy is. Don't say it anymore, he's got it. Bring him really close by that door. You can even point to the bottom of there you go. Say nothing, say nothing. Little back tension. Good boy! Hey! Come out of my dog, gonna bite you! Come out of my dog, gonna bite you! Come out of my dog! Come on, my dog's gonna bite you! Stop! Get on the ground! 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 Don't touch my dog! All the way down, asshole! All the way down! Hot dog coming off! Hot dog coming off! Hot dog coming off! Go, Los! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Off! Good boy! Pull it! Good boy! There you go. Just a good boy. Off. You need to stay calm. So the first thing you need to do, be aware of your environment. After all these bites, look how clean he out. How quickly he responds. Instantly. That's not the norm. Go, Spolly. That was it. Thank you. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this training day with Kobos. We got him super excited. We're getting them super cooled off right now because it is hot as fuck outside. And go, we need to go swimming, huh, bub? Yeah. Wow, oh, your tongue's looking better now. That's dirty. Okay. 
Remember, Kobos is going to be coming to work with us very soon. You're going to see him on all the episodes. So stay tuned. Click that join button. If you want to see Kobos in action right now, members have got it. You can see it. I'm Patty Mayo. We'll see you on the next one.